By the end of this video, you'll know how to make your own custom animations using keyframing in Wondershare Filmora 10. Keep watching to learn more. Hey, I'm Elliot from Filmora, here to empower your inner video creator. We just released a huge update for Filmora. Filmora 10. Filmora 10 is loaded with a ton of new features that you guys have been requesting, like animation keyframing. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through keyframing and show you three ways that you could use it in your videos. Let's get started. Keyframe animation works by creating two or more points in time where you specify the rotation, scale, position, or opacity of a clip, image, or other piece of media. Creators use keyframing for all kinds of stuff. Creating intros with animated logos, creating special effects with transparency, and crafting custom paths for images or picture-in-picture -picture videos to move on. For example, if you specify that an image will be in the upper left corner of the screen at the 30 second timestamp of your video, and in the bottom right corner at the one minute timestamp, then the image will spend the time between the 30 second mark and the one minute mark moving in a diagonal line across the screen. Here are three examples of how to use keyframing in your videos, and how to use the tool in Filmora. If you have a still shot and you want to add movement to it, here is how you do it. Start by adding the clip to your timeline and then double clicking to open up the editing menu. Go to the animations tab and then the custom tab. We're going to make this shot more interesting by adding a dolly shot that starts off zoomed out, then pushes in to focus on the subject. Let's start by clicking on the add button to create a keyframe. This first keyframe is for the default scale of the clip. To create movement, we need to move to the end of the clip and add a second keyframe. For this one, change the scale of the clip. I'm going to scale it up because I want it to end on a closer shot. Also, adjust the position attributes to fix any framing issues. Now, let's play it back and see what it looks like. You can also use keyframes on motion elements to make it even more exciting. I downloaded this element from Filmstock. First, let's add some movement to it. Double click on the element and open up the keyframing menu again. Start by adding a keyframe of the element in its default state. Then move the keyframe to the end of the clip. Next, add another keyframe but change its scale and rotation attributes. I'm going to scale up the element and change the rotation. Let's play it back and see how it looks. It looks good, and you can add even more animations if you want. The possibilities really are endless. You can also keyframe the opacity of a clip to give it a more dramatic feel. Add a keyframe and move it to the end of the clip. Next, add another keyframe and bring down the opacity. And that's it. You can also use this for dramatic fade out shots for the ending of your video, or even to dissolve between two shots. Keyframing is also great for animating your logos, picture in picture clips, and a lot more. You can create any animation you want. So, what are you gonna animate first? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching, we'll see you next time, and keep creating.